Hey guys, I just wanted to give an update on these um, Keurig reusable coffee filters uh, that you can use in a Keurig machine or um, presumably any other um, brand machine that uses K-cups. Um, this is the re-filter from, uh, I bought mine at Walmart here in Canada. Um, I haven't been able to find them anywhere else on the internet. Um, uh, you know, to buy, like on Amazon or anything. Um, if you uh, if you've seen them somewhere else, let me know in the comments because uh, these are great. So uh, probably about a year ago or so, I did a comparison between these reusable filters and a couple of different ones. One was a solo fill. Um, another was a just a dollar store, like a Dollar Tree version of a reusable K cup. And these were, I believe, these were the winners in that video. Um, and they contain continue to be the winners for me. Um, these are designed to be uh, disposable. They're supposed to um, give up after about 20 uses. Just reusable but not completely permanent type thing. So uh, it's all, it, they're very simple. They're just uh, you know the basic plastic construction with uh, just a, an attached lid that just opens up and this really fine mesh and of course you just pack the coffee in there. I like to pack it in as much as possible to get as strong a brew as possible and uh, close it up and stick it in your, your Keurig and of course because it has the orange label around the outside it is compatible with um, Keurig 2.0. So um, these are amazing like they don't I've been using mine for a year they come in a pack of five for $9.99 you'll notice I only have four here one of mine did start to fall apart uh, but the rest have stood up just fine and I use them interchangeably um, you know they it's it's not like I'm starting on one and just using it nonstop. Um, what I usually end up doing is using two or three in a day and that's why I really enjoy these as opposed to like the the twenty dollar solo fill or whatever um, I've only spent ten dollars and I have um, I could have uh, with a full pack I could have up to five cups of coffee in one day without having to empty out the um, the filter and and wash it out for the next cup like I could have these just all filled and ready to go and I have done that in fact I just kept them in a um, uh, you know, a Rubbermaid container or so, some kind of, you know, airtight container and already pre-filled with coffee because, of course, they have the mesh and they do have the hole in the top so the, the air will get in. They're not airtight by any means. But um, uh, then they're ready to go when you need them. Um, now, for me, it's just as easy to make them up as I go. But same thing, you know, when you pull this out piping hot and you want a second cup of coffee, you don't have to deal with burnt fingers and trying to empty it out and wash and rinse it out and all of that stuff. Uh, I just put it right by my sink, right just on the metal part of the sink, and let it cool down. And when, at the end of the day, when the grounds are dried, then I dump them out and, and stick it in the dishwasher. So, so these have been... These have been through the dishwasher, they've been through the Keurig many, many, many times. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many, it's far more than what the box says at 20 uses. Uh, and you'll see like they're no worse for the wear. They've got uh, these kind of grooves on the top, I guess, just from my Keurig machine. So you can see that they've been used for sure. Um, but the actual mesh is completely intact. The plastic has not started to degrade by any means. Uh, and uh, and they're holding in there quite well. Now the fifth one that I did end up having to throw out, what happened to it was the mesh on the inside started to separate from the plastic. And that seemed to be an isolated situation because none of the rest of those have started doing that. But I mean, th because there's five, I mean, they're what so that's a total of two dollars each uh, I wasn't too upset about having to throw out that one I still had the other four um, and they're just they're just really really handy so much nicer than um, you know uh, using the disposable K cups and I do use those I try to save them for when guests are over and we want a variety of different coffee flavors and we're making cup after cup after cup and these ones I use for my regular everyday um, coffee drinking and they have just stood up they've stood the test of time they're very handy and uh, and they make a good cup of coffee now if you're into super strong super dark coffee I'd suggest you get a, um, a dark dark roast um, and make sure that you have your Keurig set on strong um, you know but for a, a medium brew for a regular cup of coffee these do just fine um, on the uh, the regular setting 
So I pack it full of coffee and uh, and it comes out you know the right strength for me. Uh, and uh, I find this to be a really, really great alternative to a solo fill or a uh, or another brand of reusable K cup. Just very, very handy. So I'd love to hear your opinions. Have you tried these ones, uh, and what was your experience with them? Have yours lasted up as uh, lasted as long as mine? Um, and uh, and if so, leave a comment. If not, let me know too. Um, they've worked out well for me, but it'd be great to hear what other people's experiences are. All right, I will catch you next time. Bye bye.